Welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome look we're 20 videos deep you already know what to do hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already make sure to like comment and share and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every single time i post a video so i'm keeping this video short and sweet i actually have a video series coming up very soon it's just taking me a long time to edit so i filmed this little quick video to drop on my channel in the meantime so last night i did a little diy sip and paint um, you know, over the past month, I've been doing a little bit of spending and I want to kind of reel it back and start doing more free activities or at least things that are inexpensive. So when looking for inexpensive things to do, you gotta get a little creative. Now I will say I personally spent $15 on the sip and paint, but for you, the price could be less or more depending on two specific things that I noticed at least. The first one was the size of your canvas. So I spent $6.97. I remember I got a 14 by 18 size canvas. Um, the only reason why I went with that size is because I have another canvas in my living room already that I did from an old sip and paint and I wanted them to kind of look similar. Um, but if you want to go extra cheap on this, I suggest either one, just getting a smaller size canvas. You could go to Dollar Tree. I've seen the little, little, what was it like four by six? Like they have small canvases at the Dollar Tree or just don't use a canvas at all. You can paint on poster board surface a uh, cardboard you can paint on any surface that you feel works with the art style that you want but um if you want to go real cheap i would suggest maybe not going canvas go different material another thing that impacted the price was the fact that a few of the items that i used for the sip and paint were just kind of like household items that i already had um for example i took this with me so to show you guys dollar tree cups so this is what i used as my water cups i already have like dollar tree cups and paper plates and stuff just for when friends come over and I don't feel like doing dishes. So if you don't have these things, go to Dollar Tree, just get you a water cup, paper plates, paper towel. I already have paper towel in my house. The candles, I mean, I personally added the candles for aesthetics, which you'll see, but it's not necessary for the sip and paint. I just already have candles in my house. Oh, the shower liner. Okay, so you'll also need to grab a shower liner, also something you can get at the Dollar Tree. Um, again, anyone who knows me knows that I'm already always doing the little DIY projects and stuff like that. I personally buy shower liners from the Dollar Tree frequently because I'm always doing little like spray painting projects and stuff. Um, and it acts like a cheap tarp, cover the ground, whatever. But if you don't already have an old shower liner or something like that, get a shower liner from Dollar Tree. Everything else I purchase. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of show the clips of the materials that I got so you can see exactly like what I use. Y'all, I'm not an artist. I don't know anything about paint. I don't know anything about like what paint works on best on what surfaces. Look, I, I went to Walmart. I grabbed the literally the cheapest paint that I saw. Um, I got these paints here. Ooh, they're um, Apple Barrel. It was 50 cents. Um, I got seven of these. They're matte acrylic paint. I don't know, man. I, I'm not an artist. I don't know. Uh, they had glossy and all these other options, but again, matte was the cheapest one. And my painting looks just fine. What else? I got paintbrushes. Again, I got the one with the big brushes and then the little brushes. They did have cheaper brush options, but I did want the ones where you kind of had a fat brush and then a medium brush and then a skinny brush for like fine details. And then I wanted a pack that had doubles because it was me and it was for two. Y'all, that was really, it. it's really simple. All you need is YouTube video to be your virtual instructor, um, a room, some music, some wine. <laughs>
I just wanted to hop on here at the end and say one more time please turn on your notification bells y'all i'm really trying to be consistent with these videos y'all i work full time as a civil engineer okay time is limited it's very slim it's sparse okay so i'm really trying to drop videos i'm really working on being more consistent but in the meantime please bear with me please turn your notification bell on so that you know when i do drop and yeah see you next time bye